As a nation, we are going to pay homage and remember those who died on 9-11. We do that every year. But let's finish the sentence. There are really good men and women who are sick and dying because of their heroic actions that didn't die that day, but were given a death sentence. John Feel, 9-11 First Responder September 11, 2001 is an infamous day in the United States' history. It made a tremendous impact on Americans, physically and emotionally. Stories of courage and selflessness, as well as the reality of death and destruction, are familiar to most. But Al-Qaeda's attack on the Twin Towers was also unexpectedly detrimental to the environment which affected the physical health of surviving citizens. When the terrorists crashed planes into the Twin Towers, about 2,500 contaminants were released in the explosion, polluting the air and unleashing a deadly, if not immediate, threat to Manhattan's inhabitants. Among the hazardous materials were lead, mercury, glass, carcinogens, and asbestos. These substances pose a fatal threat to the respiratory system and nervous system as well as important internal organs such as the heart, kidney, and liver. For example, asbestos, a carcinogen or cancer-causing agent, if inhaled, can get trapped in the lungs, which leads to scarring. This can ultimately lead to asbestosis, which causes shortness of breath, coughing, and permanent lung damage. Asbestos exposure can also lead to mesothelioma, a deadly cancer, which can result in death. First responders and surviving citizens in the area definitely felt the effect of the air pollution. Not only were they plagued with asthma, sinus problems, heart disease, and acid reflux, some even died due to cancer caused by the air pollutants. Officer and first responder Frank Macri of the New York Police Department had no reports of lung problems or signs of cancer before the 9-11 attack. After the attack, however, the dust and air pollutants gathered in his lungs, leading to lung cancer which stole his life years later in 2007. Another citizen who was affected was civil rights attorney Felicia Dunn-Jones, whose office was just a block away from the World Trade Center. She was diagnosed with sarcoidosis, a disease which usually affects the lungs, and is caused by antigens in a person's environment. The toxic cloud of dust left over from the fall of the Twin Towers was attributed with her death, which occurred in 2002. The attack occurred in early September, when the weather was warm and calm. While nature played no direct role in 9-11's ecological disaster, the stillness of the late summer would have allowed the airborne pollutants to remain concentrated in New York City. Although the air surrounding the area was filled with toxins, the government at this time declared that it was safe and citizens did not need to take any precautions regarding the air. Many who were seriously affected by the air toxins viewed the government as negligent and protested or sued the government. Since then, there exists the World Trade Center Health Program which treats and tests those who were afflicted with serious health problems from the 9-11 attack.